Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So back with another algebra word problem, and this once again is a paper two question. As always, pause this video, try this question yourself. Leave your answer in the comment section because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. Let's go. The tenth digit of a number is x, and the unit digit is y. Hence, the value of the number is 10x plus y. For example, if x equals to five and y equals to six, the number would be 10 into five plus six. Makes sense. When the digits x and y reverse, the value of the number is increased by 63. Okay. Now, although I said makes sense, but let's you know let's focus on this for a minute. So, if let's say you have a number 56. Okay. So, in order to break it down, five is the tens digit, six is the units digit. So, the value of 56 can also be obtained by multiplying 10 with the tens digit. That means 10 into five plus the units digit, which is six. So, 50 plus six equals to 56. So let's say that the number that we have is x, y. Okay, that's what the question is saying. So in order to work out its value, we have to multiply the tens digit by 10 and add the units digit. Then if we reverse the digits, that means if we make the tens digit y and the units digit x, this is now 10y plus x. This is what its value is going to be. Now, according to the question, if uh, once we reverse, the number is increased by 63. So that means this, According to the question is 63 more than this. So that means 10y plus x minus 10x plus y equals to 63. Okay, not according to me, but according to the question. Okay, so let's simplify this. Let's see what happens. So we have 10y minus x minus 10x minus y equals to 63. So 10y minus y is 9y. 10, sorry, this is plus x x minus 10x is minus 9x, which is equal to what? Which is equal to 63. Now, I can divide both sides of the equation by 9. So here we have y minus x and 63 over 9 is 7. And there you go. That's the answer to the first part. Okay, now let's do the second part. The second part says the sum of the original number and the number with reverse digits is 99. So that means 10x plus y, the original number, plus with its digits reversed, which is 10y plus x, as we saw, is equals to 99. Now, if you simplify and if you do it correctly, this is what we should end up with. So 10x plus x is 11x, y plus 10y is 11y, which is equal to 99. Now we can divide both sides by 11. And if we do that, we have x plus y, which is equal to 99 upon 11, which is nine. So this was our first equation and this is our second equation. And you can probably see where we're going with this. Hence, that means we have to use the answers to the previous part or the working of the previous parts. Find the value of x and the value of y. So two unknowns, two equations, that's all we need. So we already have the second equation. Let's write the first equation under it. So that's gonna be y minus x equals to seven. When I add the two equations, x gets eliminated. So y plus y is two y, nine plus seven is 16. And we have the value of y, which is equal to what? Which is equal to eight. Now at the end of the question, we still have to find out the value of x. So I can use any one of the two equations. I'm gonna go with this one, x plus y equals to nine. We have the value of y, that's eight. So that means x plus eight equals to nine. You can find out the value of x, which is equal to one. So there you go. We have the value of x and we have the value of y. And that is the end of the question. So if you got this right, leave this emoji in the comment section. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.